Indeed. All right, and it's on. The first battle is underway, and the Mercians are getting their heads cut off. Oh, yes, and welcome to Total War Thrones of Britannia, and a tournament has been called, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. The word has gotten out across the Viking world, and all the toughest generals of all the factions are meeting together to go unit to unit, head to head, to find out which general in Thrones of Britannia is the toughest of all and a couple of ground rules before we get started ladies and gentlemen this is a melee only combat that's right so there'll be no generals um that uh, a cavalry units will be excluded as well as skirmishes so unfortunately the kingdoms of midday and scotland are uh, won't be making an appearance and second of all the only attack that i'll be doing i'll just be going full charge i won't be trying to move or, or do any special attacks or anything it's just shield wall to shield wall man to man toe to toe mono a mono and whoever comes out best is the winner and let's just have a look ladies and gentlemen the brackets have already been drawn um, my son actually pulled them all out of the hat and as we can see here up first we've got the kingdom of mercia against the east anglians Followed up by the uh, the Kingdom of Northumbria against the Sudrea uh, Viking Sea Kings. And then we've got the Dilfin against the Wessex and the Normans against, of course, the Norsemen. And uh, we've got a little bit of a dark horse in the Normans because unfortunately they did not have a tier 3 general unit. And instead of just giving someone a buy, um, the, uh, the tier 1 stepped up to the plate and they said, listen, we know we're not qualified. But we're ready, we're here, we're in reserve, and we shall take on all comers. And who have we got up first here? Let's just get underway. We have got the Kingdom of Mercia here. And they're bringing in, of course, their Tier 3 Royal Bodyguards against the East Anglians. So let's just uh, let's just start the, uh, the battle there. Let's just have a look here at the tail of the tape. So we've got the, uh, the, the Kingdom of Mercia there. And he is looking pretty tough indeed. He's got excellent armor piercing damage, excellent spotting, very blow, uh, very poor missile block chance. And the uh, the Kingdom of East Anglia are bringing in none other than the Royal Huskals, uh, which is very, very similar. So let's just get underway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and the battlefield is looking beautiful. And if we just have a look here, it appears that the East Anglians do have the advantage, but nevertheless let's just start the battle and we are just as we mentioned just going to charge straight in for the kill and let's break into cinematic mode and watch the action for our first bout at the general fighting championships and let's just have a good hard look at the measure of the men as the mercians run towards their enemy here and let's just get a good look at of course the royal huskals they are not going to give up without a fight. They are just waiting there. Waiting patiently for the Mercians to arrive. And once again, I just want to mention that this is... We're not using any tactics whatsoever. We're just going straight in. It's shield wall to shield wall. May the best man win. And let's just have a quick look at these guys. Oh my goodness gracious. I would not be uh, I would not be happy drawing the uh, the Kingdom of East Anglia in the quarter in the first round actually, but can the Mercians take them? I hope they're not going to be tired by the time they are, arrive on the battlefield here. But let's just see. They're walking nice and they're going to charge right in. Look at them, fit as fiddles. The Kingdom of Mercia. Let's see if they rush in there. Oh yes, and they got the shields there once again. No tactics. It's just going to be shield wall. To shield wall mono with mono and may the best unit win this is our first match oh and here we go I'm excited for this one ladies and gentlemen this is going to be good I don't know who your money is on I'm hoping I always go for the underdog so I've got to put my money on the Mercians but who knows let's go oh and we can hear them all we can hear them all screaming at one another now they are bracing for a victory they are bracing for a battle. Come on, Mercia. Can we win the battle? Let's just get a good, good hard look at the men. Oh, my goodness gracious. As they run through the camera there. And let's just brace in for the battle. Get nice and close. Here. Oh, you can hear them. Hear them all cheering. And this could be it. 
This could be it indeed. All right, and it's on. The first battle is underway, and the Mercians are getting their heads cut off already. It appears the East Anglians might have the better of them, but now the, East, the Mercians are cutting them off. Oh my goodness, it is on like Donkey Kong. Let's just get a good measure. One East Anglia has put them down here. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Let's just zoom out here. It is anyone's battle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but it appears. Oh my goodness. And it looks like the East Anglians advance to the quarterfinals. Let's just have a look at the, the, uh, the battle there. And it looks like, yes, oh, it was an easy victory for the Royal Haskells there against the Mercians. Unfortunately, the Mercians have been eliminated in the tournament and the Kingdom of East Anglia advance to the, uh, to the semi-finals. There we go. Okay, and up next, we've got the Kingdom of Northumbria here. They are taking in their Royal Haskells. Okay, so we've got the Royal Haskells there. Tier 3 against the Sudraya. This looks to be a little bit more evenly mashed. And we've got the Royal Haskells there, of course. And let us just get straight into the battle. Yes, and it looks a much, much more even match there as opposed to the Mercians and the, uh, the, the, the Kingdom of East Anglia in the first uh, battle but let's just get underway here we go and once again oh my goodness just have a look at these guys and we are just going to steam right into them battle orders. that's right ladies and gentlemen let's just speed things up a little bit because we don't want to spend too much time with the big charge up there but uh, can the Northumbrians uh, win this one who knows who knows ladies and gentlemen the Sudraya Sea Vikings let's just take a look at them Oh, yes, and just have a look. He's got the Elsa. Let's go into cinematic mode. He's got the Elsa beard. He is looking pretty tough indeed. Have a look at that. He's stolen the hair of uh, Queen Elsa from the uh, the Disney film Frozen and stuck it right on his chin. All right, let's just see if we can get a good picture of it in the sun. Which way is the sun pointing? Here we go. This is going to be an extremely exciting battle. Very, very even, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know how this is going to pan out. Oh, oh, the Sea Kings of Sudraya, Sea Vikings are excited about winning. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kingdom of Northumbria is coming down hard. Let's just see if living the good life in England has softened these uh, Northmen. But we don't know. And they're charging in, ladies and gentlemen. And it is on like Donkey Kong. Here we go. And heads are already flying out there. The King of the North Army look like they got the better of that one. But the Sea Kings do not count them out. Let's just zoom out and go back in here. Oh, and their heads are flying everywhere. Everyone's got the axes there. What's going on over here? He's not doing much. Here we go. It looks like the Northumbrians may get the better of this one. What is going on? Oh, goodness gracious. Heads are rolling everywhere. And it's another close defeat there. Let's just have a look. And it looks like the Viking Sea Kings uh, were victorious in that one. Let's just end the battle there. And let's just take a look at the tail of the tape. A closer victory from the Sudreyas against the Northumbrians. So let's just leave that. It is a uh, very good one. And so the Sudraya Viking Sea Kings advance to the semifinals. Our third bout of the evening sees the Vikings of the the uh, the Diflin. The Royal Huskars are taking to it again. These Huskars have been very victorious thus far, but they are taking on none other than the Kingdom of Wessex there, who are the Royal Bodyguards. Let's just see the tail of the tape. They've got good morale. Maybe that's going to come into it. We don't know there, but let's just have a look. I think maybe, look at that melee damage of 65 there. That's really going to, oh, they've got 65 as well. It's going to be very, very close indeed. So let's just start the battle. Oh, my goodness gracious. And it appears the Haskells are way, way out match there for the Kingdom of Wessex. Uh, this might be a little bit of a... Uh, an unfair battle. Let's just get a good look at these men here. They are looking very, very tough indeed. Oh my goodness. I would not want to be the king of the Wessex right now. But let us just, of course, let's just steam right in and we shall, of course, speed things up a little bit. 
Yes, and I believe that that is exactly what the uh, the the Vikings are going to do. These Royal Haskals are really proving to be the toughest units in the game. They're the toughest generals, but we cannot count out the Kingdom of Wessex lightly. Look at them. Let's just have a look. They are looking sensational with their kite shields. Oh, have a look at this guy here. He's got a beard in check there. They've got the armor on. They've got the cross. Will Jesus be able to help them? Will Christ, will Christendom be able to, of course, save the day? Well, let's just have a look. Let's get a, uh, a good look at them. Oh, yes. And here they come. Oh, they're going to be charging. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let us get in a cinematic mode for the shield wall clash. And let's go. Boom. All right. Come on, Wessex. We go. Oh, and one of the Wessex men is at his head lopped right off. It's these Axemen, these Royal Huskars are proving to be the toughest units in the game. But do not count out the Wessex. The Wessex seem to be doing okay. They're cutting a few of them down. Oh, whack. Stabbing the guards. He sliced him open. But can we win? Come on. Looks like Wessex are going to win this, actually. Oh, come on. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's see what's going on over here. And oh, my goodness gracious. We've got a one-on-one -on -one fight here. Oh, and he's just gone down. Bang, he's down. He's out of the count. The enemy general is dead. The enemy general is dead. It looks like the, uh, the Royal Huskars might be the, victor the victors in this. Oh, we've got a two-on-two -on -two -on -two fight here. Oh, and the heads are locked off. And the Huskars have proven victorious. They advance to the semi-finals my goodness gracious what an absolute battle that's been the best battle thus far so whoops excuse me and let's just quit the battle there and next we have our dark horse up coming up for the last of the preliminary rounds here we've got the normans they're taking in a unit one uh, leveled Norman Haskells and they are going to be taking on of course the Norsemen here they're bringing in their Royal Haskells which is a tier 3 elite axe infantry against of course the Levy Melee infantry but this is total war anything can happen let's start the battle okay and it's a slightly foggy morning there as we attempt the battle let's just have a look at the Normans and my heart goes out to them for stepping up as a tiered one infantry unit they are of course the underdogs going into this tournament let's start the battle i am hoping that these huskals can actually win because as i mentioned i always like to go for the underdogs let's just speed things up a little bit of course as they charge in for the kill Let's go, the Normans. We've got to defeat these Norsemen. If we can get through to the semi-finals, I would believe that that is a victory in on a, in of itself. I think that's how you say it. Let's have a look. Oh, my goodness. Have a look at this guy. Jeez Louise. I wouldn't want to be fighting that guy. He is looking. Oh, my God. Have a look at him. Have a look. In the, yes, sir. What are you looking at? Yes. All right. And here come the Normans. This is it. Can you... Can you win, Normans? Oh, yes. Come on. March up. This is going to be very, very interesting indeed. Can we win, ladies and gentlemen? Can we win indeed? We want these Normans... To be able to say... That they had at least... Putting up a good fight against the Norsemen. Here we go, Normans. Let's go. And the shield wall clash. Let's have a look at these piling straight in. And it's, oh my goodness, and there's blood everywhere. Axes going in. There's a couple of kills there from the Normans, but I think the Norsemen are doing the, getting the better of them. Come on, let's go. Let's zoom right in. What's going on over here? Oh, it appears there's going to be a bit of a, oh, and one of the Normans has done very well here. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh, and he's just been stuck there with the Norseman axe. Oh, and it's just a quick victory. That was an absolute... Well, I tell you what, it was always to be expected. But uh, they did okay. Let's just end the battle right there. And they were absolutely crushed within seconds there. But they did manage to get a couple of kills there. 32 kills. 
Uh, but unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. And that is the end of the preliminary matches. And as we have a look now at the brackets at the semi-finals, we've got the, uh, the Kingdom of East Anglia against the Sudrayas. We've got the Kingdom of uh, Dilfin against the Norsemen. Okay, so we are just going to go straight in to the next battle. Okay, for our first semi-final battle, we've got the Kingdom of East Anglia. They're taking in, of course, their Royal Huskars. They did very, very well in their first uh, match against the Kingdom of Mercia. They were very victorious against the Viking... Oh, sorry about this. Against, of course, the Royal Huskars of the Sudraya, the Viking Sea Kings. And let's just get straight into it, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is our first semi-final match. We have got the Kingdom of East Anglia against, of course, the Sudraya Sea Vikings there. We are just going to start the battle and once again just charge straight into the men. And of course, fast forward. The Sudraya Sea Vikings, will they be victorious this time? They had a much tougher first bout um, in the, uh, the, the Northumbrians. Then unfortunately the uh, the the <clears throat> the East Anglians did they had a much easier match in the first one. Oh here we go. We need the Benny Hill music of course. And here they come. And it is time of course to break into cinematic mode. Oh excuse me cinematic mode. Here we go. Here we go. There's Let's just get a look at them, and they are going to charge in, and let's get into the close-ups. Oh, and it's on, and there's heads flying everywhere, and it looks like it could be anyone's bout here. East Anglia versus the Sea Vikings. Oh, East Anglia are chopping them down by the looks of things. Oh, and another head's just gone rolling off there. This is very, very even. This could go either way. Oh, my goodness, the Viking Sea Kings are getting a couple of kills there. Oh, and another one for the Viking Sea Raiders. Let's just come on. Who is going to push forward? It's anyone's guess. The men, are the men are wavering. Oh, no, the Viking Sea Kings may actually win this. They're going to get to the finals. Oh, no. And the Sudraya Sea Vikings have been victorious. The Sea Kings in that battle. Let's just take a look at the tail of the tape. Oh my goodness, now that was a much closer bout there. Only 10 men, the difference. Fantastic. <clears throat> Unfortunately for the East Anglers, they've been eliminated. And the Sudraya Sea Kings advance to the finals. Okay, and our second semi-final bout is almost underway. Let's look, uh, look at the tail of the tape. We've got the Difflin uh, Vikings. They're taking in their Royal Huskars, of course. They seem to have been the best uh, general units, the Royal Huskars, against the Norsemen who are taking in their Royal Huskars. So let us just start the battle right there. Oh, yes, and here we go. This could go either way there. It looks like the... Uh, the Difflin Vikings are a little bit stronger, but who knows? Maybe they'll be a little bit tired as they run in. But once again, we're going to start the battle and we are just going to charge. Yes, here we go. Come on, men. All right, let's just break into cinematic. Mo oh, actually, we've got to speed things up a little bit, of course, because we don't want to be waiting as they do the Benny Hill run across the battlefield. Let's just have a look at these men right here. Oh my goodness gracious me, the Norsemen. Let's just have a look. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, now they are pumped up for the battle, especially this guy here. He's loving it. So is he. Oh, he can't wait to get his hands on some uh, some Vikings. Here we go. And it appears the Viking, all the English uh, guys are out of there. It looks like the Northmen certainly are the toughest warriors in the game thus far oh yes have a look at them indeed looking pretty pretty mighty and here we go we're almost at the shield wall clash ladies and gentlemen this has been very very exciting please tell me what you think leave a comment there hit the like button all that good stuff if you're enjoying the uh, the tournament here i tell you what i certainly am here we go. Let's get this sort of angle here, I think. 
Oh, here we go. And they begin their charge. Let's get into it. Oh my goodness. It is on. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on here? It is pandemonium. There are heads flying everywhere with these axes. Can the Norsemen win? They appear to be doing okay here. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Come on, men. Oh, it looks like I think the Norsemen are going to take this one out. The Norsemen are killing them. The different. Oh my goodness, that was an easy win there, I think, for the Norman, uh, the, the Norsemen. Let's just take a look at the tail of the tape, of course. My goodness, they crushed them. They crushed the Difflin. Unfortunately, 39 kills against their 60, 15 remaining against their 36. So let us continue. Now let's just take a look at the brackets there. The, uh, the Norsemen were able to... Uh, uh, get through to the finals there. They defeated the Di uh, the Difflin. And of course, none other than the Sudraya Sea Vikings in the grand finale, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, the grand finale. Let's just take a look at the tail of the tape. They are taking in their Royal Huskars. The Sudrayas have been very, very successful thus far with the Royal Huskars against the Norsemen who taking in their Royal Huskars. It is right down the middle there. This could be anyone's battle, so let's just start. And here we go. This is the grand finale. It's the Viking Sea Kings against the Norsemen who is going to be victorious. We do not know, but let's just start the battle. And this is it. It all comes down to this. Both teams have been, both units have been very, very successful up until this point. Let's speed things up. Who is going to win? I've got no idea, ladies and gentlemen. This could be anyone's match. This could be anyone's bout indeed. As they charge in. Who knows what is going to happen. Hopefully this will... Uh, this is going to be very, very interesting. I do not know who's going to... My money is on the Sea Kings, actually. They've proven to be very, very formidable... Oh, and here we go. This is it. The grand finale, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a good angle here. The grand finale. Here we go. And they're charging in. Oh, and they're going for it. And it's on here. The grand final's on. Can the Sea Kings take out the win? Who knows? Maybe they tied just a little bit on that run up there. But who knows there? Come on. Come on, Sea Kings. My money is on the Sea Kings here. Oh, and, oh no, who's going to... Oh my goodness, this head's rolling out everywhere. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Who knows? And it looks like the Norsemen might get the better out. And the Norsemen have won. The Norsemen have been victorious in there. So let's just have a look. Okay. Very, very close indeed. Oh, not as close as I thought. Here we go. Our champions are the Norsemen. They have been victorious here. And they are our general champions. I've tried to make it as fair as I possibly could. I don't know how much the uh, the, the running into battle would have uh, changed things, <clears throat> but who knows? It's been a fun tournament indeed. Some very, very good matchups there. And if you liked it, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Um, and if you want to see anything, please leave a comment down below. I will promise to do that. This has been the first general fighting championships there we might even do another one but listen thank you very very much for watching congratulations to the norsemen on their victory you are the champions thus far thank you very very much for watching and i shall see you on the next video